The Queen has been, the, the I'm so sorry. Good afternoon, everybody. It's been a long morning. Oh, all right, let's do this again. The President has been briefed and will be updated throughout the day on the concerning news out of the United Kingdom about Queen Elizabeth's health. His and the First Lady's thoughts are with the Queen and her family today. Okay. All right. Well, um, okay. So that's been confirmed. Okay. The royal family. Um, so, as I said to earlier, um, you know, our hearts and our thoughts uh, go to. Uh, the family members uh, of the Queen um, goes to the people of the United Kingdom. Um, I don't want to get ahead of uh, what the President uh, is going to say. I want him to, uh, from you all, to hear uh, from him first. Logistical question, you mentioned the President being briefed on the Queen's health. Uh, if she were to pass, should we expect the President would travel to any service? Well, we think it's inappropriate to actually be talking about that at this time, uh, so I don't have anything to share on travel. Uh, again, uh, you know, as I stated, uh, the people of the UK and uh, the family, uh, the Queen's family, are in the hearts of uh, the President and uh, Dr. Biden. So I'll leave it there. Thank you, Queen. Uh, has the White House specifically inquired about the Queen's health uh, this morning? And uh, when was the last time President Biden actually spoke to the Queen? Was it at the G7 in Cornwall, or have? have have they had uh, conversations after that? So they, they last met during the President's visit uh, to the United Kingdom in June 2021 in Cornwall, as you just stated, when she welcomed uh, the President and the First Lady uh, to Windsor Castle. A few days before that, she also hosted uh, the, the President and another G7 leaders at a reception in Cornwall, which is what, which is what you just stated. Yeah, that was the last time that they saw each other. Have you inquired about her health or has... has I can tell you that the President has been briefed. Uh, I don't have any calls to to preview at this time, uh, but he has been briefed on this on this situation. And, and quickly, would the president be given any sort of heads up if the queen does pass, or would he find out kind of when? Again, I mean, we just feel. We just feel having those conversations at that time is inappropriate. Uh, clearly, if anything uh, is to share, we will share that. Uh, uh, but again, we're, we're thinking about their family. They're in their hearts uh, and uh, just not going to get ahead of, of that at this time. When the president conveyed his thoughts to Prime Minister <coughs> Trust, did she offer any update on the Queen's condition or the Queen's health based on what she knows? I don't have anything more to share uh, from, from, uh, from what I just stated about him uh, having a conversation uh, or uh, speaking to her briefly uh, during this call this morning. Did the president express any concerns about the Queen's health after meeting with her as he did last summer? Concerns meaning? Concerns about her health and how she was doing. Uh, that is not information that I have. Uh, look, you know, I'll, I'll just reiterate this because I think this is important, which is uh, our countries and people have always had Thank you, Karine. I have two questions. Um, the first is on Queen Elizabeth. She served for nearly a third of American history. So how does President Biden view the special relationship between the U.S. and the U.K. if there were to be a transition in the British monarchy? So don't want to, you know, we feel like it's inappropriate to talk about uh, hypotheticals here. Um, we, but we, what I will say about the relationship uh, with, uh, with the United Kingdom, as the President uh, said in celebration of Queen's Platinum Jubilee, which is not too long ago, under, and this is quote, under her reign, the relationship between the United Kingdom. Met three times, as you just indicated, and I'm wondering if you have any, um, anything to add about what the President has shared on the Queen's views of the U.S. and the world as it stands right now. Uh, I'm not going to get into private conversations that they have had. Uh, I can tell you, again, they've met at least uh, three, they've met three times in the past uh, uh, few decades. Uh, and again, I you know don't want to get ahead of anything here. We think it's inappropriate to talk about any travel or, or any uh, uh, thoughts um, on that. Uh, but again, uh, you know, we've made it very clear.